everyone. This week we're talking about our new Air Tracer handheld fog machine. It's been a challenge over the past few years uh, to find a good fog machine that's both cost effective, doesn't leak, or doesn't use harmful materials. Um, Corbett Lunsford did a great rundown on some of the history of the devices we've used over the years, uh, starting out with the titanium tetrachloride puppers. Uh, yeah, that turned out to be a harmful substance that we could no longer ship, so that became out of the question. We then began to play with some other options that were out there. There were some oil-based foggers that we tried. Some of them broke during shipping, and so it just didn't have the quality that we wanted to put our name on. Uh, and so then we ended up for a while with the Tiny S, which we still have, and it's been a great product for the past seven or eight years. Um, it doesn't leak, uh, it holds up. I've been using mine for the past seven years and not had any issues. Problem is, it's $1,000, <laughs> so they're pretty expensive. So that's been a barrier for a lot of people that have been trying to get a tool like this. And then there have been some low cost tools that have popped up uh, from other manufacturers that have shown up on Amazon and things like that. Uh, and the main concern is that they leak. Uh, they leak fluid. Uh, you can't turn them upside down uh, and discharge them or they'll drip fluid everywhere. Uh, and so that's uh, a no-go uh, for a lot of folks for obvious reasons. Uh, and so that's why we're excited to release the Air Tracer. So here in the US, uh, it's right under 200 bucks, has an instant warm-up time, immediate fog right when you push the button, and I can turn it upside down just like the Tiny S, discharge it, and I don't get any drips. So if you've never used a handheld fog machine or any other kind of smoke device before, they really are handy for finding air leaks and showing clients uh, where the source of their problem is uh, it's in a way that they can understand. Uh, it's just another way that we can make air visible. It just follows that current uh, and then shows where the problem is. It's a great sidekick for your blower door. Um, if I'm testing a building, my favorite way to use this is to pressurize the house. Personally, I think it's easier to see the fog disappear uh, into the hole or crack uh, rather than having it blow back at me. It's just easier to see that way. And you can also just let it guide you. One thing that I like to do is shut uh, an interior door with the blower door running to pressurize the house. And if I see the fog, disappear up underneath that door undercut, then I know that that's a room that I want to focus on. Uh, there's some leaks leading to the outdoors there somewhere that I can hunt down. And so one cool thing about the air tracer is it comes with this little attachment on the nozzle. It's a, a plastic tube with a little microphone end, and it just allows you to put that fog right on the ground uh, and it can kind of hover on top of a surface. So this is great for uh, going along really fine cracks, maybe at the bottom of a wall. Um, it's also handy for finding duct leakage. So if we hook up a duct tester uh, to a duct system and depressurize it, uh, then from the outside of that duct system, we can go around with this little end uh, and put some fog and see it disappear into where the leaks might be. And we realized that a lot of times when these are used, it might be in areas where there's poor visibility, like up in an attic or down in a crawl space or basement. Um, the nice thing about using theatrical fog is that LED lights reflect off of it really well. So uh, if you have an LED light shining on it, you can see it a lot better. So we have made a little attachment that you can clip on to the air tracer and if you inject the fog like that, you can turn on the LED light and then really be able to see it clearly. That light just kind of reflects right off of it and almost makes it glow a little bit. So uh, if you're up in a dark attic or down in a dark crawl space or something like that, trying to use this, um, having a little light attachment is gonna be really helpful. So this is something that we're gonna add here in the near future. So that's the rundown on the Air Tracer. Uh, it's a highly effective, a uh, handheld fog machine coming in at a low cost. The cartridges are not refillable. You replace them, they just pop in and out magnetically. They only go in one way. So if I pop it out this way and try to put it in this way, it'll reject it. So that way it'll kind of let me know which way it needs to go in. Uh, the cartridges uh, are moderately priced. You can get a pack of three of these uh, for 35 bucks uh, here in the US. And when you buy the Air Tracer, uh, it comes in this zip up hard case and it comes with two cartridges uh, once you buy it. So for just under 200 bucks, you get the air tracer, the attachment, uh, and then 
two cartridges that you can add on. And so the little LED light that you see lets you know how much of that cartridge is left. So right now I've got 51% and I've used this already in a few buildings, several classes, done some demos, taken it to some trade shows, and I've only used half a cartridge. Um, and then the battery charges with USB-C on the bottom there. So uh, one battery charge will actually last you about 45 minutes to an hour of continuous use. So if we're just doing a, you know, a lot of puffs like that, 45 minutes to an hour will uh, get you through quite a few tests. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, this is the Air Tracer. If you have any questions uh, about the Air Tracer or anything else, retro tech or building science related, feel free to reach out. We're happy to help.